my life purpose is to serve the children and families who need it most. Teaching children to read is more than a job or even a career for Rosanna Golisano. It is her life's passion and her commitment, not just to the students. It was important to not to stay at a school, but to stay in this school. This is a very specific community of close-knit families, close. They accepted me like their own. The West Coast transplant moved to New York City for a teaching fellows program. Upon receiving a master's degree, Golisano was immediately placed in a public school in an underserved community in the Bronx, PS11, the Highbridge School, where she is a teacher and the school librarian. I've seen children who, oh my goodness, how are we going to turn them around? Before you know it, they find a collection of books, and now their whole world is opened up. She has been at this same school for 20 years, and these are just some of the faces of why she's never left. What I learned is that reading books is fun. Before I met Miss G, I didn't really like reading, but now I see how she's like so into reading. I liked it. During the pandemic, Golisano gave out food, clothing, and other supplies. And perhaps what will be her legacy to this community are her libraries. My vision was to have the children create their dream library. I called it, I called it um, a reading playground. Come on in, boys and girls. Excellent, so excited. All the way in. This is what the library looked like before and after. In 2013, she won the highly selective Library Reach grant. Her entry was so compelling, organizers more than doubled the original amount to $25,000 with help from American Girl, which donated their line of historical dolls. Each doll comes with a background story in a book. The funding gave PS11 a new library. Golisano turned it into a harmonious, serene environment for children to pick up a book and read comfortably. When the kids say, we need books that look like us, we need to read with our families, we have to listen to that and take action. On top of teaching six classes a day, Golisano has now taken on fundraising. The donations help Golisano launch her home library program. She gives books to children for free to take home to build their own libraries. You can pick a book for yourself or for your family. Well, as a parent, when I see that she's very caring and loving, that touches me a lot. When we ask Golisano what it feels like to be nominated as a remarkable woman, she had this to say. And what an honor it would be for the community. You know, it, yes, it's me, but it's really the community. Tell them, yes, we acknowledge you. Yes, we see you. And yes, you're very special. In the Bronx, I'm Shirley Chan for PIX11 News.